Game mechanics are the means in which we interact with games. Although every game has their own approach to these, there are some that are better designed than others. Therefore, some mechanics are better and more engaging. In today's video, I want to talk about my favorite mechanics in games and why they are that good. Now keep in mind that I'm going to talk about mechanics in the games that I enjoy playing, which are narrative-driven games. I'm also not going to talk about mechanics in hyper-casual games. Everything I say here is from my experience interacting with them and my own opinions. Yours might differ, and that's okay too. The first mechanic that I would like to talk about is C-targeting in The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. This mechanic is one of the foundations that define how we interact with 3D games. Nowadays, we see it in games like Dark Souls or Bloodborne, but it all started back in 1998. Back then, Zelda Ocarina of Time was one of the first games that had 3D combat, but the designers at the time had to come up with an idea of how to make combat fair for the player. Without seed targeting, the player would have a really hard time trying to hit the enemy in a 3D space. It will also cause a lot of issues when the player is trying to shoot an arrow at an enemy that is flying, or when trying to get to the tail of an enemy without trouble. Seed targeting also allowed the designers of the game to create the enemies with that system in mind, so it allowed for more freedom when designing the enemies and the action that Link was able to do. The second mechanic I would like to talk about is the sanity system in Eternal Darkness Sanity's Requiem. This game is one I consider to be among the best horror games ever, and its sanity system is genius. The way it works is that you have a green bar that is filled to the top at the start of the game. As you experience horrific things, like monsters hitting you, zombies, etc., that meter goes down slowly. If it gets too low, your character is going to experience some hallucinations. For example, your TV might go down or up in volume without touching it, your character might die all of a sudden, you will see a bunch of monsters attacking you in the game, or maybe even a message that the game is corrupted or that lights went out. This was super scary back when I was playing it as a kid, and I am surprised no other game have tried to implement this in their game. I think this is a great mechanic, because it aligns with the player experience, which is to feel unsafe at all times. It also messes with the player's mind, and makes you question what is real and what is not. The third mechanic is when you grab Yorda in Ico. The way this works is that whenever you are close to her, you can press a button to grab her hand and guide her through the castle. This doesn't really affect gameplay that much, but it does affect the emotional connection with the characters and the story. When I first played that game, and I did that, I felt like I was protecting her and guiding her through the fortress. It also made the cutscenes and story play out in a way more powerful and emotional way. This is a good example for a very simple mechanic that is very uncomplicated, but makes an impact in how the player feels when they interact with your game. It's so good. The fourth mechanic I would like to share is the rewind time mechanic in Braid. We all know this game as the game that started the indie revolution, but it also has a really cool mechanic that has basically endless possibilities. This is what I would call a deep mechanic, which is a mechanic that is simple, but you can keep complicating until you can make a whole game out of it. The way it works is very simple. You press a button to rewind time. You can rewind basically as much as you want, which on the surface sounds simple, but this mechanic, coupled with really good puzzle design, is what makes the whole game amazing. The game starts with very simple puzzles, like jumping on a pit to get a key, and then rewind time to get out of that pit. As the game progresses, you are asked to deal with ladders, levers, and even cannons. It gets progressively harder and more interesting as you continue to play more. It also allows for endless experimentation because the game is designed around that whole player experience. The fifth and last mechanic I would like to talk about is the chipset upgrades of Nier Automata. In this great game, you play as an android who needs to save humanity. So one of the things you do in the game is collecting chipsets that you can equip to get better at certain stats, like attack, defense, etc. However, there are only a couple of slots available at any given moment. The interesting part here is that essentially, the entire HUD is part of this chipset too, so you could literally take out your map and replace it with more defense or power, depending on your needs. The cool thing about this is the options that it gives for the player. One can choose to play without a HUD at all, in order to be able to explore the world at their leisure. Maybe you can equip all defense chips to be a tank, 
or equip all attack chips to destroy everything. It is amazing the freedom that it creates for the player and it also plays into the narrative and story of the game. You can also get rid of the life chip, which you guessed it, it kills you automatically. And also that is a game over, it just goes to show you how cool of a thing is that designers thought about this when creating the game. I believe that game mechanics can make or break a game. No matter how good graphics are or how well designed the world is, if the mechanics are not well designed, the game is not going to be fun or engaging. When you design game mechanics, you need to make sure that you take into consideration what the player experience is and make sure that every element in the game works together to ensure it fits that experience so that it feels right for the player. And that's it you guys, thank you so much for watching. What other mechanics did you enjoy a lot and thought were amazing and why? Please let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you like this video, please hit the like button and share it with your friends. See you next time.